and I'm joined by James Creedon in the studio. James, uh, very much a headline story mm. for us this evening. Uh, that plot, alleged plot, uh, François Fillon accused of trying to muddy the waters and plot against Nicolas Sarkozy's comeback. That's right. It's, it's really a huge story in the French media today, Tom, and it's indeed it's been picked up by uh, the international media as well. The headline here in The Guardian, for example, today, French former prime minister to sue Le Monde over Nicolas Sarkozy plot claims. So the two main figures in this story are the former prime minister, François Fillon, who is hoping for uh, the, right, the centre-right uh, UMP party's nomination for the presidency in 2017, the presidential election, and the chief of staff of the Élysée Palace, uh, Jean-Pierre Juillet. You can see both of them photographed together there in Le Monde's coverage of the story. Now, Le Monde spoke to Mr. Juillet uh, last week uh, following a book that came out, in, and Juillet said that uh, François Fillon had approached the presidency, had approached uh, the Élysée Palace, asking for pressure to be put on the, on, uh, the institutions to speed up uh, investigations into Nicolas Sarkozy's alleged uh, illegal fundraising for the 2012 campaign. In other words, to eliminate him from the 2017 presidency uh, for the benefit, I suppose, of François Fillon and others. And uh, allegedly, these conversations were, according to the journalists in any case, this conversation between the journalists and Jean-Pierre Juillet were recorded. And uh, what Fillon is said to have said by uh, Juillet is, if you don't strike fast, you're going to let, let him come back. So in other words, for the interests of all concerned, better to eliminate Sarkozy from the game. That is what Le Monde is claiming uh, Jean-Pierre Juillet uh, has told them. Now, in any case, uh, we, we, we've, as we saw in the report a little earlier, uh, François Fillon spoke last night to the main evening news on TF1. He said that this is a lie. Jean-Pierre Juillet, the, the chief of staff of the Elysee, is lying, and he's going to sue the newspaper. So who to believe? That's the problem in this situation. Uh, it, you know, it, somebody is lying, and it's either a former prime minister or the chief of staff of the Elysee Palace, and that really doesn't... Uh, uh, doesn't uh, uh, give a very good impression of the political leaders in France at the moment, Tom. Mm, not least at a time when the French public is, is very mistrustful yes. of them. And this whole scandal could have been uh, very divisive for the UMP party, couldn't it? It, it comes at a very bad time. That, but it seems the ranks are closing in around uh, François Fillon. That's right. Surprising in a way because you would think that this could really have just uh, blown the UMP party asunder. The former Prime Minister of Nicolas Sarkozy accused of trying to prevent him from uh, his 2017 bid. Sarkozy has spoken just a little while ago saying that uh, he, he, he's criticising uh, lie, lies and, and untruths, a daily practice of uh, the socialist government. This mirrors what his spokesman said a little earlier who, when he said, I believe François Fillon. You've had a whole load of politicians in the UMP party tweeting their support to the former, former Prime Minister. Uh, meanwhile, you had, uh, the, uh, you had the head of the Socialist Party in Parliament, uh, Bruno Le Roux, comparing uh, what's happening within the UMP party to a big uh, um, drama in, in, in French uh, TV at the moment. Uh, Nabila, she's a reality TV star. She is accused of having stabbed her boyfriend. And there is actually a comparison being made by some in the Socialist Party, such as Bruno Leroux, to that scandal. In other words, uh, François Fillon is stabbing uh, Nicolas Sarkozy in the back, figuratively speaking, of course, which has led to all sorts of uh, images in the satirical press, and uh, that's a uh, Nabila crossed with François Fillon, rather disturbing stuff. But I suppose the main uh, conclusion to draw here, Tom, is I think what Le Figaro, the right, uh, centre-right daily, concluded this morning, uh, that this is a political earthquake from which the National Front, the far-right party, is likely to benefit. When you have the ruling socialists and the opposition U UMP party every day saying uh, that... Uh, uh, they spend their day proclaiming that uh, Marine Le Pen is a public danger and they're doing everything to ensure that her ideas prosper. So this is really the risk here, that both parties come out of this looking very poorly. Uh, and just briefly, a US think tank says the office of president in France uh, should be uh, abolished in favour of a stronger parliament. What, what does the uh, French media have to say about that? I think it's interesting that this comes uh, out uh, in the same day that this uh, scandal is, is so uh, so much headline news because what is at the centre of, of this scandal? It's the 2017 presidency, the fact that there is all this infighting in the UMP party for who the candidate should be. The presidency is such a central part of French politics and what, they're say what this... Uh, but Washington-based think tank, the Peterson Institution for International Economics, is saying is that uh, it would be better for France to do away with the strong uh, Gaullist presidency from the time of President de Gaulle for a more parliamentary system where the centre-right and centre-left could form uh, coalition governments, which would improve, uh, and they would be then able to impose economic reforms in a more consensual manner instead of constantly being at loggerheads between the centre-left and centre-right over the next presidential election. It's a, quite a complex uh, 
idea, I suppose, but it's not the first time it's been floated that the French presidency, its monarchical sort of form, is perhaps not the best way of organising French society at the moment. All right, thank you very much Thanks, indeed Tom. for that. James Creed in there uh, with today's edition of Media Watch. It's time now for Focus here on France 24. We're going to turn on.